With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down. It was sheer carnage. They're in the old square. And the police are on and marked with what will happen to you between vengeance and dying bonds of the demons. They look like just people, like people who want to be free. Following the androids. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Yeah. 
have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Thanks for the offer. But we won't leave now. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. She's one of us. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. 
And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, no. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that... I'm glad that I met you. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much.
Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please! It's true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases. All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Please! Madam President! What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. They're going door to door rounding up androids. It won't be easy to get through. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now.
esta paz. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you die. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks. There's soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President.
Here we are. The moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? You stole my little girl! Todd! Security! Over here! Turning us in won't solve anything for you, you know that. You have your problems. They're nothing to do with us. You were going to kill her. All I did was protect her. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. But she would make you forget. But nothing your child I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father she was wrong but I fucked it all up over again she was right in the end I didn't deserve them 
I don't miss my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, Come honey. Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my... Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead.
We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. People have fallen. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. This won't hold them for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. have no pity for those who are different. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. 
I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> this way, please. Checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Carol. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it.
Next, please. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are gonna meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Cobra. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Thank you. 
Go on now, me, Alice. I'm so lucky to have met you. Take good care of Carol. We'll be happy together. something, okay? Don't be scared. Let me through! Oh What's going on? Let me through or I'll shoot! It's got a gun! Drop your weapon! Drop it right now! ID. Goddamn androids. To grab a little girl like that. You okay, little girl? Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time.
Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. These images of deviants singing in the face of death are being seen all over the planet. Surely deviants are just defective machines. Or are they a new form of life, one that we refuse to acknowledge? When we watch footage of androids facing down the barrel of a gun, we can only speculate as to whether they simply simulated fear and courage, or whether they didn't really feel these emotions. President Warren is said to have intervened personally to spare the androids. The peaceful demonstration of the deviants and the dignity of Marcus, their leader, has won them sympathy from parts of the population. That is why I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts, establish contact with the deviants, and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation, a nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. 
We are alive. And now, we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it.
Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy when some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes Boy. it so special Boy. anyway, huh? Where's he got that I don't Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Uh. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! You're scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no, I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my. Leo. Oh my God. Leo, my little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Go? I have nowhere to go. Carl, you're all I have. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move!